Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today I decided to make a very quick video that is kind of like related to the last video I posted. Basically in this video we're going to be very quickly uh, going over uploading images in React and basically we're going to be using the Cloudinary service which is a cloud platform where you're able to send images and files and videos to the, to the cloud and you're able to access them so it's a great way to store images uh, because most people, most uh, services don't, don't store images in database despite what most people think initially. So it's a great way to, to store images and it's a really good service. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to upload the image and also how to use the Cloudinary um, API for the React and be able to see that image. So as you can see right here, I have a, a project that basically it's empty. You don't, you don't uh, like don't care about the other stuff. I just grabbed a random app, a random object, like random project I had. And currently it just have, has a, a div saying, hey, in the middle. So this is our project. And basically you can see I'm using, uh, this is the website for Cloudinary. So what I would recommend is uh, I would recommend going to the Cloudinary, the, like cloudinary.com, creating an account, which is free. And then you're going to appear, like this is the screen that's going to appear. And the first thing you need to do is you need to create some stuff. So we're going to be able to send that information from the client. So in order to do that, you're going to come here to the site. You're going to click on configurations. And by the way, I'm going to be showing some sensitive stuff in this video, but those sensitive stuff, it doesn't matter that much because I'm going to be like changing those information. So it wouldn't matter at all. You just uh, like, don't worry, don't try to replicate the same values that I have here. You just realize that these upload presets are the important thing that you need to worry about. So when you come to Cloudinary, you should go to configurations, then go to upload and you scroll down right here and you'll see upload presets. Well, this basically means that you're able to to upload information from a client. So anyone who, who tries to upload using this preset is going to be able to. So this is why it doesn't matter. I'm going to change this presets right after this video. So no one will be able to upload. But basically what you got to do is you got to create a preset. You click right here and I'm going to, for example, this is the, the upload preset that generates for me. And we're going to change this to unsigned. And this is literally what it is. And we're going to save this. When we click save, uh, we got to copy this name. So the thing that we created was this one right here. We got to keep track of this, right? And also we're going to come here to our React app and we're going to start working on our React application. So imagine we have here a simple div and we're going to create an input, right? So it's going to have an input of type uh, file. And basically for now, let's just, it's going to just going to be like this. So we're going to see that when I refresh this, um, it's not refreshing. I'll restart my, my React app. So yarn start. We're going to see that we're going to have an input in the center. So, okay, right here we have an input in the center. And I'm going to delete this route uh, just like this. We have an input in the center and we can select files over here. So, for example, if I want to select, these are all my thumbnails. If I wanted to select this, you can see that currently the only thing it does is it displays the name of the file you selected over here and you can select different files. So now we're going to work on the upload part. Well, when we grab an input over here, we can give it an on change event. And what this on change event re uh, retains is basically it grabs the file that you're working with and it stores into an event uh, element, right? So in JavaScript, when you, you, when you want to access an event from an input, you can just do it like this. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm passing an on change event and inside of it, I'm grabbing the event. I, I could change this, actually I'll change this to event. So it makes more sense. So event. And over here, this is a simple syntax for creating a function. And over here, this literally will call a, a function from, from that we're going to create, which is going to be called upload image. And this function, we're going to pass the event dot target. So event, oh, it's actually event dot target. And since this is a file, we got to grab the files. And this is a very, like, this is a standard. We're going to save this. You can see it restructured everything and it's given as an error for some reason. Oh, upload image. We haven't created this function yet. So let's create that function. If we come here to our, fu to our, fun our functional component, you can just create a function called uh, upload image and it's going to take a file or actually files. And over here, we can just do it like this. And literally what we've got to do first 
is we're gonna try to grab the information from the file. And how we do that is basically this uh, input right here. So you guys can get a perspective. This input right here, it grabs, it can grab multiple files. So when I access event target files, you'll see that it has an S at the end, meaning it can be multiple files. It actually returns an array of uh, different files that you you grab. But since we're only working with one image, you can just access one image by doing it like this: files and zero. So let's see how this works. I'm console logging this. So if I come here and go to my console log and I just select a file, so I'm going to select this, this, I don't know, this thumbnail right here, you're going to see that it's going to console log the information. It says that the name of the file, which is a chat thumb, thumb tube.png, the date was modified. It says a bunch of information, the size, everything. So this is how we're going to take, like take into account the file and work with it. So the next thing we're going to do is work with, um, with uh, Cloudinary as a whole. So the way we do this is by making an API request to Cloudinary. So as always, when I work with API requests, I could have just I, I could just use the fetch function from Java, normal JavaScript. But actually, I'm going to use Axios. So if you don't know what Axios is, it's a very it's a like awesome library, uh, which uh, Oh, I wrote it wrong. Sorry, let me, let me write it again. It's Axios. And I wrote yarn add axis, but if you're using npm, you can just write npm install axis. And now that we have axis, I can just import axis from axis. And now we can make HTTP requests from here or HTTPS requests from here to uh, an API. So this is what we're going to be using. And now we can just come here and we can like um, grab and create an instance of a form data. So if you don't know what a form data is, basically when you want to work with forms or inputs, you have to create uh, create an object called form data, which will hold all of the data from the form as the name min, uh, as the name says, and it's going to be equal to new form data. And basically, it's going to be an object, as you can see. And inside of it, we can just uh, it, it append different information to that form data. The first thing we want to append is the file. So in order to do that, we just name it file, as you can see right here, we pass a string called file, and we can pass the file that we want to work with. So as I mentioned before, it's just files zero. So we're sending the file to the form data and we're constructing this form data. The next thing we want to do is append the upload pre preset. So uh, the upload preset, as I mentioned, is the this thing right here. And the only reason why we have to do this is because uh, since uh, Cloudinary works with, uh, if you want to make a request on the client side, Cloudinary gets, uh, like it, it has to control who's making the request. So in order to make a request to the client side, you need to make something, you need to make a public upload preset and you can grab this and send it directly to them. So I'm just going to copy this. So uh, how do I copy this? I'm just going to click right here and copy and come right here and let's create a form data dot append and we're going to pass the name upload preset and you can just say you can just pass the name of the preset so I'm gonna pass right this right here and this should be fine and right here at the bottom you can just come and basically just make the the request right oh actually I'm outside the function you can just make the axios uh, post request so if we write axios dot post then you can pass the URL and make sure you write it exactly how I'm writing it. It's HTTPS, then two slash API dot cloudinary dot com slash V1 under underscore one slash the name of your like, like your cloud name. And like your cloud name is basically this. So if you come here, it's basically this. Um, it's, it's this right here. It's not secretive at all. Like you can, you can just copy this and you can just come here and pass this right here. And right after it, you got to put image, which specifies that we're trying to upload an image and then upload. This is the endpoint where we're going to be sending our data. And after it, we can literally just pass the form data. So if you don't that, what we're doing, basically we're constructing the form data that we're uploading to Cloudinary. And then we're passing the upload preset to make sure that we're actually sending it and sending it correctly. And then we're making an axios.post request where we're sending the information to the route right here. If I click dot then, this is a promise so we can get a response. And 
the response can literally, we'll, we'll just console log the response. If it, if it is a good response, so if we, if we actually write everything correctly, actually wrote response with a capital R, I don't want that, so response. Okay, we wanna see what happens, right? So this is literally it. Let's, let's take a look to see if it's working. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking about it. Maybe I want to create a submit button instead of just like sending the data when I select the image. Maybe, right? So let me create a button here. It's going to be called upload image. And instead of calling the upload image function right here, I'm going to call it on the on click event right here. So on click, I'm going to pass a function. So let's do it like this. And I'm just going to pass the upload image. But as you can see, we don't have the event.target over the files over here because we're actually going to change that. This is just a decision that I just made. We're actually going to change that. The function will actually not, not take anything. It will be just like this. And also, I forgot I need to pass the the actually I don't even need to do it like this I can just write upload image and I'm going to remove the files from here and literally what we're going to do is we're going to create a state so let's use the use state hook const uh, image selected so we're going to create a state that is going to uh, hold the file so set image selected and it's going to be equal to use state it's going to be whatever for now let's just leave it like this and let's save this uh, obviously i need to pass something here so i'm going to pass a, a string and what we're going to do is we're going to instead of upload we're going to pass the 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 we're going to literally come here and say set f image selected equal to this and now we have our our files um what happened? Well, I filed. Oh, because we, 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 we need to grab. So, you know, where, wherever we said file zero, instead of doing this, and by the way, I'll just do it right here. I'm passing into the, into the state. We're passing the file zero directly. I can just come here and instead of accessing file zero, I can just access the image selected. So if you're confused, I'm sorry about that. Basically what we're doing is we're instead of grabbing uh, just setting everything directly on the on change event we created a button right here where when we click it we're going to send the data so we transferred the event the target of files and uh, the image directly to a state variable called image selected and now when we want to access it we can just call it call the image selected so now that we've done that we can test it so you can see that on our cloud binary, i'm going to go to my you can see these are the last images i uploaded so this one is the last one i'm going to upload one right now so let's select an image. I'm gonna select um, one of my thumbnails, uh, this one right here. So I just selected a thumbnail called CRUD PNG and oh, accidentally deselected it. So let's do it again. And I'm gonna inspect elements so we can see the console log to see if anything happens. When I click upload image, it's probably making a request. And let me see if it's making, making a request. Um, network, let me see. Yeah, it's making a request, it's pending. Uh, maybe my Wi-Fi is bad, but it just went. So you can see on our console log, it says data status, meaning that it, it's okay. It sent the, the image. If we go to Cloudinary and we refresh, you can see that that image should appear right here. And let's see. Um, it's refreshing. Okay, it, it did. Uh, you just don't see it because we got to click it over here. But and as you can see, this is new. A new image was uploaded and now we have the thumbnail that I just uploaded seconds ago. So this is the upload part. Now I'm gonna show you guys what is the, the not the upload part, but like grabbing the, the, the image, right? So in order to start working with and being able to see that image, you're gonna install a package called Cloudinary React. So we're gonna come here and write yarn add Cloudinary React, or if you're using npm, just write npm install Cloudinary React. This is a really good library. I don't think it's actually made by Cloudinary itself, so the company. Uh, but the thing is, it allows us to very easily grab the images, and that's like awesome, in my opinion. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna come here and we're gonna import, and we're gonna import an image. So they have an image component from. Uh, Cloudinary React. So you can see that they have an image component. Like if I write image over here, it automatically imports. So what we gotta do is we're gonna come here to the bottom and 
right at the bottom we got where we want to put the image so I want to put the image right here I want to display the image right here so in order to display it we got to write the give give the image components and properties and one of them is basically the cloud name right so this is one of the things they take it's a cloud name and the cloud name is just your the name that we saved over here so this thing right here the Pedro Machado Inc can you just copy this paste it over here then they also take the public ID and the public ID is something interesting each image so wait let me write it over here public ID each image has a public ID this public ID is simply this right here so if I come here and I click on the image I'm gonna click on this thing and the public ID I guess is this so I can just copy this or is it the link let me just test it this way so if we come here and put this right here no it's the link I, I'm 100% sure it's the link so if I click on the image uh, where can I click on the image you can see we can like transform the image and do cool stuff because this is really a, a thing that is really awesome with Cloudinary how do I actually see the image so I want to copy this I want to paste it over here is it like this um, let's see yeah this is the link you can just pass this over here and so you can see we just pasted it and now we can ha we have access to the public ID so the last thing we want to actually see is well no actually this is I think this is it right so if we save this we come here to react tab we refresh this you can see that our image perfectly appears it's obviously too big so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to kind of give it a style I think so right so style and I'm gonna pass uh, width of 200 let's see if this works I save this you can see our image appears right here so one thing that is important to understand is obviously like I'm gonna to try to upload another another image right here I'm gonna upload um, I don't know this thumbnail right here so click upload one thing that is really cool to understand is how do we integrate so that we don't need to grab each time the the URL for the image well the way you do this is basically whenever you upload an image so we just upload it right here I think so let's see yeah we just uploaded the image whenever you upload the image you can just come here to you save the URL so you save the URL to your database and basically when you save that URL for your database whenever you try to render the image you can just pass the URL right here and at the same time you're saving your the only thing you're saving on the database is the is the uh, URL and the only thing and what you're saving in the cloud is the actual image so you can see that now I tried to render this and the image I just uploaded appeared right here so yeah that's basically it this is really easy to use Cloudinary I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, please make sure you follow all the instructions well or else it might not work so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe because I post every single day today for example I posted twice so I'm continuing on the grind and I really want to make more content for you guys so please like the video comment down below if you want to see more leave a comment and tell me what you want to see and I see you guys next time